Hello, my name is Jen. I am the Unorthodox Healer. This is a tarot reading for February and it is for all of you Scorpios out there. This is for um, your Scorpio sun rising and moon sign. My tip for the month is that if you were born at night in the darkness, that you actually find out as to what your moon sign is, if you don't already know it, and you listen to some readings based on what your moon sign is. I have a hunch that it actually mean, will resonate more with you because you were born at night and it will resonate more than your sun sign because you weren't born when the sun was up. I only take cards that jump out at me and I do not read reversals. I'm based in Scotland in the UK and I am really excited that you are here. Now, that is way too many cards, so I will put those back and I will use these instead. The bottom of the pack is the King of Wands. And the cards that we have are the Eight of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Death card, the Empress, and the Tower card. So, if you know anything about Tarot, or think you know anything about Tarot, you will probably immediately go, oh no, the Death card and the Tarot card. You actually have three major arcana here, the Empress, the Tower, and the Death card. Please don't be scared about any of these cards. They are, the major arcana cards are more sort of serious long-term energies as opposed to the minor arcana cards. And the minor ones we have are the Eight of Cups, the Page of Cups and the underlying energy is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a Scorpio card, typically. And he is sat there very sure of himself. He is the master of fire and kings are... Um, they're the head of the household. They are respected. They aren't great doers. They're more sort of thinkers and people who go off and tell other people what to do. Um, I think that you are quite mature and or that you are in a mature situation. Perhaps you've been in a job for quite a long time now, the same job. Um, are you a manager? Do you lead people? Because that's sort of the, the type of person that the, the King of Wands is. Um, he likes a good challenge. He is um, unburnable. Um, he, he's level-headed. He's cool. Um, nobody can sort of rattle his feathers um, uh, ruffle his feathers, sorry, rattle his cage, ruffle his feathers, I mix in my metaphors, possibly. Um, so, I think the King of Wands is a, a great underlying energy to, to have, because it it is talking about you. The Eight of Cups is about walking away from something which you are not content with. You are doing all right. You have a lot of what you need. You've achieved a lot. You are proud of yourself, but there's something missing there. You are searching for something else and you are walking away or want to walk away from what you have currently to search for that ninth cup Nines are about the culmination of things. It's that, it's the the perfection, if you like. And cups are all about emotions and, and love and happiness. So 
are you a little bit dissatisfied with how things are at the moment? Do you just sort of wish for happier times? The Page of Cups is showing that something is coming. He is a young chap, he's quite naive. The pages are tend to be seen as sort of the boys in the court cards. They're the, the ones that have got a lot to learn. They're quite innocent. They're quite sort of joie de vivre and innocent. And he is showing his innocence because he's actually talking to a fish in a, in a cup. And he is typically a bringer of a message. So it might be that you are going to be hearing about something which will help you get this ninth cup to, to bring you this happiness. It might be that there is something which happens, which you don't really have control over, to either send you on this journey to find this ninth cup, this ultimate happiness, or something which something which will send you on this journey and that is a good thing the towers are towers are if we aren't making the change ourselves and we should or we have to if we don't do it ourselves then some the spirit will do it for us it doesn't have to be something dreadful i know that these people you know the, the tower's blown up and these people are, are well one's jumping and one's been thrown out on fire it doesn't have to be dreadfully upsetting and dreadfully painful it might be that you are just waking up suddenly and going oh good grief what am i doing here I'm not really happy with my lot. It's all right, but I want better. That can be what the tower means. But something is happening because the death card shows that an end is in sight. It's not a bad thing because at every ending there's a new beginning. There's new opportunity. So please don't be scared by this death card. It is also your card. It's the it's the card for Scorpio, so you should be very um, experienced of having these endings and starting afresh. And I think that you are because you have this Empress card here, who again is another the third major arcana that we've got, and she is number three. And that shows that there's really beautiful abundance coming to your life. And yes, it will be after something has happened. But it's not bad because it's, it's bringing an ending about. And you will deal with it because you are a strong person. You can overcome challenges and you're mature and a sensible person. So do not be afraid of these two cards because they bring about something better. And it shows here that you want something better. You're not satisfied with what you've got. The Page of Cups shows that this ninth cup is coming. And the Empress is backing that up as well because it will bring abundance and riches, if you like. I want to say um, fertility. But that doesn't mean that you're going to have a baby or anything. It's just that good things are going to come. Things are going to evolve. And it is a, a really lovely reading for you. So don't be put off by the tower and the death card, please. It just shows that things are changing for you. You want the change. It shows it here. So don't be afraid. Embrace it. Try and keep a level head. And again, as I said, with the planets, there is a lot of emotion and strong feelings going on at the moment. So just try and sit tight and see what happens and ride the waves if you need to. 
I hope that's been helpful. Please take care and I will be doing another Scorpio reading soon. So please check back and I will see you later. Take care. Bye.